the forces of the mind become more subtle. It appears as though it's on your side to help you, but you don't need help. <laughs> you see, the helper is coming to offer something you don't need. So, whoa, no, this is also seen. And if there's a reaction to that seeing, that is also seen. So from the seeing place, is there anybody there doing the seeing? Take a moment. and uh, stillness, I would say. Uh, but I also, uh, exper I'm also experiencing uh, many of uh, these mental forces you speak about. Okay, come sit with me over there. So you say that you came to a point where you can verify and confirm some of the teachings, the yeah. pointings. So you don't pick it up from here again and tell me. No. Uh, I can confirm many of your pointings. Mm -hmm. The stillness. The stillness you yeah. can confirm. There is a, there is a, a sense of calm. A sense of calm there. Yeah. And uh, I can confirm that the exercise, to observing the mind. Yes. It works. Yes. How uh, does it work? How does it work? What's the what's the what's the fruit of the of the exercise? Because uh, at first I, I was a, a great thinker, I was so much thinking, mm -hmm. but since I start to observe uh, my with, mind, with detachment, my, with detachment, detachment, my mind thinking, uh, it starts it starts to slow down mm -hmm. little bit by little bit by little bit. Now I'm starting to see more the space you were talking about. There is a sense of freedom there. And uh, there's a calm there because mm. there, there is nothing. Okay. Okay. So let me just go over that. So you come to a place of a sense of freedom. Is freedom something in front of you? Is freedom an object of uh, perception? No. No. There's okay. nothing there. Actually, okay. Good, good, good. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. There's nothing there, really. Then there is also great sense of calm. There is great sense of calm because uh, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's not the mind. The mind is not talking. So in the absence of the chattering mind, yeah. or if the mind is chattering, but you have observed it enough, yeah. so after a while, the chattering is not affecting you. No. By observing the mind, without feeding it, mm -hmm. it begins to slow down. Yes. Isn't it? That's what you say. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. observing something without manipulation and trying to do it itself slows down because it's not ping pong. There's no ping pong. Yeah, it's observing, and so the its influence slows, slows down. down. Yeah. You are observing, and now the space of more peace is present. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, also, okay. Carry on now. Mm -hmm. uh, I at first I cannot conf confirm your pointings, but now I can confirm uh, many, many, many things mm -hmm. that you you are saying. But uh, I also try to apply the exercise you, you give us while uh, I, I go to bed. Uh, I give my fullest attention mm -hmm. to the silence, mm -hmm. the, the vibration of the silence, and at some point. Uh, it is uh, it is resonating. I, I don't know how to explain mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. but uh, there is uh, there is uh, uh, an energy field mm -hmm. in. Uh, there is a sense of aliveness there, mm -hmm. and it is very good because at this moment I can see very very clearly that I am not the body, I am not the mind, mm -hmm. and there is a sense of total freedom. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I can see I'm not the body, I'm not the mind. But at this moment also, I I begin to experience many of these mental forces that you're trying to, to that you, you, you talk about. Mm -hmm. And I see them more clearly. They, try just, they are just trying to distract me, to, to put me uh, yeah. away. They're trying to sell you some logic or something, something 
to, to, to catch, to catch. Yeah. So the, the forces of the mind become more subtle. Yeah. It appears as though it's on your side to help you, but you don't need help. <laughs> you see, the helper is coming to offer something you don't need. <laughs> so, whoa, no, this is also seen. And if there's a reaction to that seeing, that is also seen. So from the seeing place, is there anybody there doing the seeing? Take a moment. In, 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 the, in the seeing place, that which is aware of uh, all things, is there an entity there being aware of all things? There is an entity that is trying to keep as long as possible the experience, but it doesn't last. <laughs> it, I'm trying to, to, to stay there. I'm, I'm trying to, to, maybe my mind is trying to, to catch the experience and stay there as long as much as possible. Yes. But... Uh, it doesn't but, work. But this is observed also. Yeah, this is observed. Or this is observable. Because you may not catch that this is observable. If you identify with it, you uh, will not be aware that this is also observable. If you identify with something, then you, you become that point of observation. But if you realize, whoa, but that also is, is appearing inside something. So then you don't have to touch this. Don't go. Okay. It's calling you. Is giving you, is calling you to another kind of freedom. Is giving you a master card. Go, play it, look. He said, no, not leave this also goes. Yes. Then you see, normally we are looking for a tangible resting point. We are looking for a tangible, recognizable resting point. Is there such a thing for you? You see. Because if we are looking for a tangible resting point, we are, we are using the mind also. The mind is looking for something. Aha, Eureka, yes, yes, Babaji, I got it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes, but it will not be it. It will only just be another play of distractedness. Can you follow that? So, how, how, how now, what we can do, what we can do? Now that I know uh, very clearly the exercise works very well, <laughs> I continue to to watch with uh, detachment mm -hmm. and uh, and try to. You who are watching, do you have a form, or is it just that there's the watching? Is there an entity doing the watching? Very subtle now, again, very subtle. Now. I come to confirm that there is not an entity because the moment I watch the, the mind, it, mm -hmm. uh, it seems that it subsides. There is mm -hmm. nobody there. Mm -hmm. It is here just when my attention, uh, uh, when I'm distracted, the mind is, the moment I observe, it is, I, I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. It subsides. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There is just a uh, space. Well, as the things are subsiding, the sense of an entity watching is also <coughs> subsiding. Because when we're looking normally, whenever we report anything of our history, of time and anything, we're representing ourselves as an entity in time and space that is doing the things. But as you're observing and seeing that uh, something is not being pulled into the action, then also the witness is losing its phenomenality also. Anybody follow with that? Yes. yes. So the sense of there's somebody here doing the look, that's also, it's, like, it's not somebody. It's just the looking. Okay. Now does fear come? Why not it come? Because something is afraid of the absence of you personally. <laughs> There's a, a sense of fear of the absence of you personally. The idea you have of yourself as a particular identity or entity has been blocking you from going into the seemingly unknown. 
So the mind creates the unknown as some kind of, whoa, I'm going to be lost, black hole. But what you're actually finding is that there is no black hole. If there's a black hole, that's also seen. But what is causing the seeing cannot be found. It's like trying to see your eyes. Can you see your eyes? Then the mind will give you a mirror to reflect. You can only reflect, but your eyes is not in the mirror. Can you see your eyes directly? You see? So I'm using this as a metaphor because the seeing and the seer cannot be seen. Yet it is. Everything that has a name, a shape, a form, and time, that is perceivable. That which sees it and doesn't designate any quality to the thing seen, just seeing, it loses its concrete um, sense of self. No? Then I want to know, if you come to this point, is there fear here? No. I had a saying here, it says, when you can bear and be the emptiness, silence that you are, you are free. Another saying, I remember we see it, that one of my sayings again, um, I am, before the idea came to me, that I need to remember myself, or that I could forget myself before those ideas were believed, I am, I am there anyway. But when we start to believe I am in search of myself, the mind offers you a map and a journey, and you forget that you are already here, you can never... You must be itself the destination of all search, searching. But this you, you cannot put a flag there. And I want to know who dares. They say, who dares wins, no? Meaning, the one who doesn't give up because <gasps> the mind throws you black hole. You're going to disappear. Many people, I'm going to disappear. I'm not going to be able to. This is not true. In fact, all the things that come to you as activities become more clear. They become more relevant. They become more uh, blessed because you're free of them. You're free of the consequence of owning them. Now the mind is going to be itching for another point to make. <laughs> Just catch it and catch it. <laughs> We are very fortunate, because where can you be in this type of company? <laughs> where these things can be looked into, and not laughed at, and not uh, that you can look. And what you are confirming is what is in everyone. I don't have a good English, but I, when I speak about me, my negative or positive um, characteristic, uh, I feel uh, uh, na narrow, yes. restricted. Contracting. Contracting. If I don't speak about me, uh, I feel more mm. open. I yeah. feel the space. If you are not something, if you are not defined by your shape, or your gender, or your religion, or your whatever it is, then what? You are like limitless. If you are not identified with the body, although you are not cursing it, but it has its function, something, find out what the use of it is. 
but you're not defining yourself by that. Only then uh, love can be universal in you. Otherwise, the love is going to be very, very, very localized. You like this one, not like this one. That's based upon this. So when you are free of definitions, which are limitations for you, but we are proud of our definition, self-definition. But when you begin to observe them, you realize, oh, they're all restrictive. Still, without them, you are. But uh, you're not uh, full of division. But you don't have to tell anyone. You don't tell anyone. You just move in the world. <laughs> one come, hello, can you hear? Start done. Other one, rrr, 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 yes, my friend. <laughs> because uh, the mind is not easily distorted by these, by your conditioning. Oh, this one looks a bit. Uh, this one looks a bit. No, you don't care this. You don't see this. So these self definition, they give us a false sense of security. Actually, what they give you is insecurity. You feel secure about the things that you you prefer, you choose, and insecure about the things you did not choose, and everything trouble you. So don't feel for security among among the known. So therefore, your discovery of your universality becomes natural for you. And once you discover this, you would not want to go back into shrinking into anything. <laughs> you would rather be a lump of poo <laughs> than a fixed diamond. <laughs> yeah, because in a minute this will disintegrate up everything, I'm back to the air, I'm back to... You don't have to... <laughs> you understand? Yes. But you want to be this nice as a diamond and stuff? And then you have to find the right ring size, you have to find the right person, you know, you're so limited. But very few people realize this. It seems like a secret, but it's it's. As you are tasting, you are dis you are discovering. So, wow! I don't have to be locked into shape. Why to take shape? The shapes are fine, but why define yourself as shape? You are the weakness of all shapes, even of this shape. You see. <laughs> but by being the weakness, you're not bound. You're not encapsulated into a shape. You see. Are you not then the happiest one in the world? Yes. Of course. Of course. You want to say it? I want to say it. Yes. Um, I want to say it. It works. It works. If you have you ever looked into, you will never go to a mirror and look into it, and the mirror says, "I'm too busy right now. Come back later." <laughs> it doesn't say, "I'm a bit slow today in my reflection." It will not hold the memory of yesterday. Oh, I reflected you yesterday. Let me look at no, nothing, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I say this is holy water, you come? And you know, it's enough. <laughs> Digest this one. Know when you have had enough for the moment, no? <laughs> Go and sit with it. Ah, <laughs> what have you recognized? What have you learned? Um, no, empty. <laughs> Moving empty. 
the culmination of all knowledge, the quintessence of all knowledge. Otherwise, the knowledge becomes like an object for the mind. Oh yes, I want certificate, I want this, I want Nobel Prize. <laughs> but this knowledge, which reflects your unlimited uh, freedom, Even freedom is not the highest word, because you are not really bound. Freedom for a little while. After a while, you say, Oh, no, no, it's not even freedom. 